let's take a quick look at how to set up an Atmos session for monitoring and delivering in binaural. So this will allow us to work with headphones on an immersive mixing. So let's just listen to how our project may start with like an acoustic guitar that's going out to our stereo bus. Now, if we wanted this to sound like the sound is enveloping us and surrounding us, we would need to set it up to mix in Dolby Atmos. And to do that, we need to have our project set up with a couple of conditions. We want to go to our project setup and make sure that we're working at 48K sample rate. We want to go to our studio menu to studio setup and select the audio interface under audio system, click on the control panel and make sure that the buffer is set to 512 samples. If we're going to be using the headphones for mixing, we'd want to go to our preferences to control room and make sure that use phones channel as the preview channel is checked. So again, we have a mono file going into our stereo out. So now I want to transform this project into an immersive Atmos mixing. So we're going to go to our project menu and we'll go to ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos. Here we have a very convenient setup assistant. We can say, I want my main mix channel configuration is 7.14 and I want to create a bed that's 7.12 and we could place checks on add main mix channel with renderer. We're gonna add the bed, route all tracks to the bed channel. So pretty much just check all three of those and hit okay. Now, once we do this, we have our renderer and we want to actually set our down mix because I don't have 12 speakers in my studio, but I'm just gonna do this on headphones. So I'm gonna set this to binaural. And we're going to, at this point, go over to our particular channel and now that we've done that setup assistant, we're gonna open up the channel and look at the panner. So we could have this either be in bed or object mode. And generally things that are flying around would be in object mode and things that are kind of stable would be in bed. But uh, I will come over here and open up the extended view so that we could get a sense of how the source is being panned around in a room, not only in surround, but also with height. So if we want it to be this higher or lower, we get that indication directly there. So I'm going to go ahead and automate my panning here. So I'll just make the guitar kind of spin around a little bit. And at this point, if you're doing this in your project, if you're using headphones, I'm not sure if this will translate over the tutorial, but it will translate in your project. So I will start and let's just go ahead and pan. So I'll just set my height kind of in the middle and let's play. I'm gonna move the panner. And if you're doing this in your studio and you may hear it in the headphones, you'll hear the sound kind of go behind you behind you to the left. So once we've done that for every source in our project and we're happy and we want to deliver this to someone, um, if we want to do kind of the final delivery that will scale to different monitoring environments, uh, we could go to, again, to our project menu, to our ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos and export an ADM file. So that ADM file will be able to scale to whatever speaker configuration is in your in the playback system. But the problem is a lot of people may not have a way of importing or listening to an ADM file directly. So if we wanted to deliver a file, like a standard WAV file, a binaural WAV file of the mix so that someone could listen to it, what we could do is go to our bed channel and let's go ahead and just open up our bed channel. And in the output routing, we're going to set this to stereo out. We're going to turn this on and we'll set it to zero dB. And at this point, we will go to our file menu, go to export, and we will go to uh, our audio mix down. And we were going to just choose a stereo file. We'll make it a wave 48K 
And at this point, we're going to call it uh, Atmos Guitar Start 360. We will save it to our desktop. And let's export the audio file. All right, I'm going to go to my Windows Explorer or your Mac Finder. And let's just find a file and we'll play it back. So we'll say, here's our Atmos Guitar 360. I'm just going to play an Apple Music here. And once you do this, you can hear the binaural panning. And it sounds like the sound is going around in circles. So if you need to set up your Cubase session to work in uh, binaural monitoring, because you may not have 12 channels and you want to be able to deliver, Cubase will allow you to have that functionality to deliver your immersive mixes. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.